Hey YouTube, welcome back. So、uh, today I'm going to、uh, unbox and introduce this、uh, new and sell BM200. This one is the 12 volt battery、uh, tester with the Bluetooth、uh, 4.2 automotive、uh, battery monitor that would、uh, analyze、uh, your lithium ion battery. Or a lead acid battery with a cranking, charging test, alarm, records, voltage、uh, history. So yeah, I like to give it a shout out to、uh, Eva from their、uh, marketing team for、uh, sending me this. And、uh, be sure to、uh, check out the link that's going to show you within the description, so you guys could、uh, check out this、uh, item out. And if there's a coupon code,、uh, make sure you click on the coupon box code. So、uh, in order to monitor your battery, you need to、uh, download from your Google Play Store or App Store. So yeah, let's go and then、uh, open this up. And、uh, here's the product description. The Bluetooth 4.2. Check your voltage, battery power, then temperature. You can、uh, scan the QR code for the app. And、uh, it is、uh, made in China. It comes with a double-sided、uh, tape, so it is a、uh, pretty、uh, small size, and you could、uh, hit it into your、uh, engine、uh, department. So yeah, you just、uh, connect the positive and negative、uh, terminal attached to your battery、uh, terminal, and then、uh, use a smart app to、uh, monitor it. So yeah, let's go and then uh, test uh, this out. Here's a user manual guy right here. All right, so I'm gonna go to my、uh, Google、uh, Play Store and then、uh, search BM200. And it'll be that one right there, and sell BM200. And、uh, click on install. Now,、uh, click on、uh, open. So I need to click on agree and、uh, allow, authorize while using the app.
So you need to log into your account or create an account. So there are different ways of signing in. So so if I click on email, they will send you the uh, verification code to your email. All right, so once you enter your email, you only have a uh, 60 seconds. They're going to send you the code to your email. And it says, uh, please add device. So I will need to scan the serial number on the back. And then uh, click on next. Serial number is incorrect, so I will need to uh, input it manually then. All right, so I manual input the serial number. So you need to select a battery type, lithium battery or lead acid. Press OK. And uh, now we need to uh, sync it so we can see the battery health. All right, I'm going to take out the charger. Just going to clamp this on here for now. Uh, let's do the positive first. All right, it says uh, battery okay. Voltage is uh, 13.08 and it shows the temperature is in uh, 21 degrees Celsius. And here's the graph. Let's go and then uh, click on the cranking test. Also, oh, you need to install this on the vehicle in order to uh, show the cranking test. Let's see. And then here's the charging test. So yeah, you need to install this on the vehicle. So it says uh, first step idle speed. The vehicles uh, keep idling. Turn on all electrical equipment such as uh, car headlights, air condition, uh, glass heating, car interior lights. Click test until the end of the test. So you can click on test, but since uh, this is uh, installed on the vehicle, so we cannot really do the actual test. So, and on the bottom right here, you can show uh, trips or oh, find car. Wow, you can even find a car and show the map location. That is so cool. So in case uh, you don't know where you park, you could uh, map it. And there's a setting right here. So on the setting, there's a daily power notification, abnormal cranking notification, power alarm, option uh, two parameters. So it, there's a, it sets at uh, 60 and 80%. And uh, GPS uh, track service to locate your car. Uh, you can set the unit. Right now it's on matrix. Yeah, I'm going to set it to Imperial in order to get the mile instead of kilometer or uh, degree uh, Fahrenheit instead of degree Celsius. And then there's the online service and firmware update. See so now it changed to uh, 69 or 71.6 uh, degree Fahrenheit. Well, we're going to uh, install this on the car. 
and then do the actual test for the cranking test and charging test. All right, so since I unplugged the charger for this uh, rabbit, we are going to use those uh, two alligator uh, clip or the clamp to come out the positive and negative uh, terminal in order to do the cranking test. Yeah, so I just uh, do this for a uh, temporary. I'm going to do the cranking test for now. All right, so uh, with this uh, battery shows uh, 100%. And then the voltage is uh, 13.09, 69.8 degree Fahrenheit. So we're going to do the cranking test and also the charging test. But uh, I'll need to start a car, so. All right, so let's go ahead and click on cranking test. Step on the clutch. So it shows the starting time is uh, 1660 millisecond. The starting voltage is 10.55 volt. Is voltage is uh, normal. Let's go back. So now the state of charge shows uh, 98%. Current voltage is 14.42 volt temperature. Gonna click on uh, charging test. Start testing. Turn on the lights and everything. Huh. Let me turn the lights. Turn the interior lights. Uh, and uh, test. Second step, high speed, turn off all electrical equipment, such as the headlight and everything. Please keep the engine at 25 hundred or three thousand rpm hmm. turn out the lights test So it shows that uh, idling charging voltage is 14.08 uh, volt. It's a uh, normal. High speed charging voltage is a uh, 14.49. The high speed uh, charging voltage is 14.49. Uh, That's normal. Dial ripple uh, voltage is 7 millivolt. Normal. So yeah, this uh, device is very uh, critical if you go out camping or for your RV or just uh, for your normal car to monitor your battery. It is a good idea to have this. And uh, please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop any in the comments on below. And uh, be sure to check out the link that's going to show in the description for this uh, item. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one, like always. Peace.